Plus and good day. In today's video, we are going to install the Lorex Cloud Client for PC and show you how easy it is to get set up and start monitoring your camera system. So first thing, we're going to go to web browser for Lorex Cloud for PC. All right. So you want to get the link that has lorextechnology.com in it, like help.lorextechnology.com. It will say Lorex desktop software for Mac or PC. Don't go anywhere else and download this because you don't know what you are installing. So click on the link. It will bring this up for you. Now you scroll down and see the Lorex cloud client. It will tell you which DVR or NVR model is compatible with it. And then you come down here, see how to download. You see for PC users, you could click here. And for Mac users, click here. Now the Lorex client 13 is for other devices. You would see the compatibility there. So we are going to get the Lorex cloud client. And we're going to click here because we are using PC. All right. So it starts downloading. And we just wait for it to download. Right, and now we see it's in the downloads folder. Now we just double click on it to minimize this. All right, there you go. And we select yes. I just minimize this and that. And right here we have the Lorex Cloud interface. This will tell you where it's installing. Just accept the defaults and it can generate a shortcut on the screen for you. If you want a shortcut, you go yes. If not, just select that. Now we select install. Now the installation will begin and we will come back when it completes. All right, once complete, you can choose to either watch the release notes or run Lorex Cloud instantly, or you can just click finish. All right, so we're going to select Run Lorex Cloud and then Finish. All right, we will get this pop-up from uh, Windows Defender Firewall. You allow it on your private networks. Allow access. All right, and we're presented with this. They want you to set a password for first installation. This password is not the password that is on your device, but is a password for the Lorex Cloud app. So you can set your password to whatever you want it to be. And you can select auto login after registration. If it's your PC and you, you're the only person going to be accessing this, you can select that. If there's multiple people and you're going to make multiple users, I would suggest you do not check the auto login. Now select next. Now you make your security questions. And now we are in the client. Now, you will see nothing here because there is nothing. So you need to add a device. So to add a device, you simply go to add and it will come up with device name. You can name it what you want, right? You could name this one, whatever, home business. You're just gonna call this one home. Now the method to add, if it's on your local domain, you can add uh, the IP address, like the direct IP address on it. If it's set statically, because that IP address changed and you lose connection. But if you have a static IP, select that. If not, the more flexible version would be device ID. Use for, with the P2P or the peer-to-peer -peer function. It's the better choice to make. If you have a specific reason for using local IP, then use that. So device ID, uh, you can get this off of the device next to the QR code or in the device settings. Leave the client port as default. You can leave the group name as default group. And then the username and password that you're going to put in is from the device. This is where you put in the device username and password. And you select add. Give it a minute. The device should pop up. And then you see the offline status turn to online once it makes a connection over the internet. And now you have accessed your DVR or NVR remotely. 
So generally what most people want to do is get into the live view. So click on live view and it'll pop up. Now you can choose the amount of cameras you have. You can choose the divisions. You can get nine screens, 16 screens, or you can even make a custom split. All right. And then when you're ready, just double click on your device name and the video will pop up. Hope this has been helpful to you and I will see you on the next one.